Dear Faithful, Too often stories emerge of nuns who fall under the negative judgment of modernist Rome. These nuns almost always belong to traditional orders, faithful to the historical charisms of their order, preserved through the centuries until the post-Second Vatican Council. Since then, the nuns have been forced to give up their traditional customs, especially regarding clothing. Rather than wearing the classic religious dress that has distinguished them for centuries, they were encouraged to adopt trouser suits and other modern garments. This radical change led the nuns to immerse themselves more in the secular world, creating quite a bit of confusion among the faithful and within the religious communities themselves. This is especially true for contemplative nuns. For decades, Rome has shown a kind of contempt for contemplative nuns, a contempt that has become particularly evident under the pontificate of Francis. However, his predecessors also took similar measures, albeit with less fervor and determination. Today we have another similar story, but with a twist. A year ago, a headline appeared on Aletea. The poor clares bring abandoned monastery in northern Spain back to life. The convent, closed 19 years ago due to a lack of vocations, was reopened thanks to the poor Clare nuns. The Catholic site of Aletea, one of the most popular, has rightly celebrated the story of a convent brought back to life by traditional nuns. These nuns, as you will discover, are truly traditional. The community is made up of five young nuns and a 95-year-old nun, all from the monastery of Bado in nearby Burgos. The history of this monastery dates back to 1,926. Generations of nuns followed until 2006, when with only nine nuns remaining, they moved to the monastery of St. Antonio de Victoria, thus closing the convent of Orduna until October 2020, when the new members of the community arrived. Sister Miriam, one of the poor clares of the community, told Alataya, We found the monastery in good condition. A man from Orduna had taken care of visiting it, doing some cleaning and checking the roof tiles. There were areas of the monastery in good enough condition to live in, and others where there were things to rebuild. The welcome from the local population was exceptional. It is a city with a profound religious spirit and great affection for the nuns of Santa Chiara, present there for 425 years. The entire community offered their time and affection so that this community of poor clares could return and fill everyone's hearts. The nuns have revived ancient local traditions linked to the convent, including the production of sweets to sell to the inhabitants, beloved cultural specialties such as donuts and other delicacies. Young people came from hundreds of kilometers to contribute to the restoration of the convent. The small community of nuns showed signs of vitality, and things seemed to be going well. Two years later, the headline of the Bilbao Herald reported the scandal of the excommunicated bishop and the poor Clare nuns. The nuns found themselves, as expected, embroiled in a real estate dispute with the bishop and, of course, with Rome. It turned out that the convent they occupied was very valuable. This dispute led the nuns to reject their bishop and side with a bishop of Tuke's set of vacantist line, Indeed, the nuns have embraced Sedevacantism. In two years, they went from being a traditional convent, allied with Ecclesia Dei and coexisting orders in the church, to adhering to Sedevacantism. Sedevacantism is a theological position within Catholicism that holds that the current pope and sometimes even his recent predecessors are not true legitimate popes. The term Sedevacantism derives from the Latin Sed Vacante, which literally means vacant seat, referring to the chair of St. Peter. Sedevacantists believe that the papal see is vacant due to the heresies or doctrinal deviations of modern popes, particularly since the Second Vatican Council. Sedevacantists believe that the changes introduced by the Second Vatican Council have compromised the true Catholic faith, leading the Church towards a modernist path in contrast with traditional teachings. They claim that the popes following the council starting with Pope John XXIII and Pope Paul VI promulgated heresies, thus losing their legitimate authority as successors of St. Peter. This position leads Sedevacantists to reject the authority of the current pope and the bishops in communion with him, often creating separate communities that seek to preserve the purity of the traditional Catholic faith. However, Sedevacantism is not a uniform position, 
There are various currents and nuances within this movement. Some set of Vacantists only recognize the popes up to Pius XII, while others have different opinions on which pope was the last legitimate one. Although the set of Vacantist movement is relatively small within the Catholic Church, it has gained some visibility due to its strong criticism of post-conciliar reforms and its insistence on the need to maintain tradition. Set of Vacantist communities often celebrate Mass according to the Tridentine Rite and adhere strictly to preconciliar teachings. That said, their new bishop is a controversial figure. The article adopts a sarcastic tone in describing him, clearly trying to undermine his authority and credibility. This would be unacceptable if it weren't for the fact that he is a set of Vacantist bishop, so naturally it is done. Any alternative hypothesis on the state of the church and its crisis is never permitted, and we support this with the fact that we are not set of Vacantists, but nevertheless recognize the validity of their sacred orders. Subsequently, the decision of the poor Clare nuns to abandon the Catholic Church surprised many, although not all. In April 2024, the Diocese of Burgos had already opened an investigation against the nuns. These nuns did not open the doors either to the representatives of the diocese or to the faithful who had gone to the convent for a private mass. According to the images published by the convent, Pablo de Rojas Sanchez Franco, the schismatic bishop excommunicated in 2019, had proclaimed himself the Pope of the poor Claris of Bado. These nuns, risking excommunication, found themselves involved in an economic issue that surprised many. Behind this schism, in fact, there is a significant financial component, the failed sale of the Orduna convent. This building had been abandoned in 2002, and in 2020, the poor Clares of Bado had agreed to purchase it for 1,200,000 euros. They had paid over 100,000 euros in six monthly installments, but never completed the purchase. Failure to pay led to the termination of the contract, but the nuns did not accept this decision and sued their congregation in March 2024. Sister Isabel declared that she had a benefactor willing to buy the monastery and resell it to the nuns of Bado financed by the sale of another monastery in Ario. The story of the poor Clares of Bado is emblematic of the tensions between tradition and modern ecclesiastical authorities. The nuns trying to maintain their traditional identity found themselves in an economic and ideological conflict with the diocese in Rome. Their decision to embrace Setovacantism was drastic but understandable, given the pressure and difficulties they encountered. I invite everyone to reflect on this history and consider the role of traditional religious communities in the church today. It is essential to pray for these nuns and for all those who find themselves in similar situations. The crisis in the church is complex and requires discernment and understanding on the part of all the faithful. Please let me know what you think of this story in the comments. Are you surprised that after 11 years of Francis's pontificate, a group of nuns has been pushed into set of Acantism? Did you expect this to happen sooner? If you liked the video, please like and comment, Amen. See you soon, and God bless you.